name's Phil Landers and I'm owner of Land Chocolate. I source the finest cocoa beans from around the world and I make single origin chocolate. The first stage of the chocolate making process will be to hand sort all the cocoa beans. They've come straight from a farm in Central South America, so you'll find all sorts of things in there. Sticks, stones and imperfect beans which you want to get rid of. And then you will load them up ready for the roast. The cocoa bean has a shell on the outside which we don't want, so we blow that away which is called winnowing. And obviously the cracking is the stage of breaking the bean up and inside is the cocoa nib which is what eventually turns into chocolate. We then take the cocoa nib and we put that into a stone granite grinder. The cocoa butter which is naturally in the cocoa bean will eventually turn into a liquid. It goes from quite gritty, kind of clay-like form and then eventually over time, just due to the natural heat and friction in the grinder, it goes into a nice smooth texture, which is then ready to move on to the conching phase. Conching is crucial for developing the more pleasant flavours we enjoy in chocolate and getting rid of the volatile acids which live within the chocolate. We then pour the chocolate into moulds and let the chocolate mature and it ages and sits in the trays for at least two weeks. Once we're ready to turn them into bars, we then break up the big blocks and remelt the chocolate into the tempering machine. We then go on to the tempering phase which is the process which gives chocolate this nice shine and a nice snap and essentially gives chocolate its structure and the tempered chocolate pours into the mould. We then put that onto a vibrating machine to essentially evenly distribute the chocolate across the mould and also to get rid of any air bubbles that might be in there because obviously we want a nice smooth appearance. Once the bars have been tempered into the moulds, we then put them in the fridge for at least 10 to 15 minutes and eventually just naturally the chocolate will extract itself from the mould. We can pop them out and then is the long process of hand wrapping every single bar. The idea of making a perfect chocolate bar for a chocolate maker is, is always going to be an ongoing process and we're always going to be striving to make that perfect bar of chocolate. But the exciting thing at the moment is that we're actually learning a lot more about the cocoa bean and we now have the capacity to make even better chocolate than before.